Lesson 13. Objective. Use place value understanding to decompose to smaller units once using the standard subtraction algorithm and apply the algorithm to solve word problems using tape diagrams. You need to run, okay? Important vocabulary for the day. Difference. The answer to a subtraction problem. Everybody say difference. Let's look at our first equation with a variable. We have 4,259 minus 2,171, which equals y. y is our unknown. This is also called your variable. Next, let's look at our tape diagram. You can see our hole is up here at the top. And our part plus our part will equal our whole. So this is our unknown or our variable which we are going to solve. Next we will model our whole number using our place value disks. So you can see that we take our four and put four thousands in our thousands column. We take the two and put two hundreds in the hundreds column. We then take five and put five tens in our tens column and finally we take nine and put nine in our ones column. So I went ahead and set the problem up vertically also. So we start out in our ones column. Nine minus one. Is the top number larger? Yes. So we're able to subtract here. Nine minus one will give me a difference of 8. Next we move to our tens column. Is our top number larger in our tens column? No. So we have to take 1 away from our hundreds which would turn this 2 into a 1 and we would bring 1 100 over here which would turn into 10 tens and it would change this 5 into a 15. So let's look at this in our place value disk chart. So you can see right here we did not have a larger number in our tens place, so we had to take one away from our hundreds place. So if we do that here, we would be taking one of these, and you would cross it out of the hundreds, and you would bring it over here to your tens place. Now we have a total of 15 tens, which is just like here. So now we can take 15 minus 7. So if we take 7 away from here that would be 5, 6, 7 and we are left with 5, 6, 7, 8. So our 8 would be our difference in our tens place. Now look at our hundreds place. Is 1 the same or larger than the one on the bottom? Yes. So we can say that our difference for our hundreds would be zero. And finally, we go ahead and look in our thousands column. Four is larger than two, so we're able to subtract two from four. So four minus two will give me a difference of two. So our final difference is 2,088. So now I would know that y is equal to 2,088. So if I were to take 2,171 and add it to 2,088, I would get a sum of 4,259.